Okay, so welcome everybody to the show and tell for the Spoon Challenge 41, which was really kindly supplied by Andrea. And she did a, a, a great chat about her project and introduced a little bit of what the thoughts behind her template were and how it developed. And now we're gonna have a chance to see where we took the template and, and what we found about it when we tried it. Uh, but before we do that, we'll just have a, a quick chat to Andrea and um, perhaps just in a few words, say why you chose that particular style of spoon to do for our template. Would that be okay? Yeah, that's a great question because I didn't know what to do when I was, uh, when I was asked to do this. And um, I thought, well, because um, over time, I think after having carved um, the spoons that I've carved so far, I just seem to have went into the direction of following the grain and played with that idea and just loved and enjoyed doing more fluid and flowy and curvy shapes. Mm -hmm. So um, that's, this is one of the spoons that I have just made as the spoon number 50. 51 in the project and I really liked how it was how it turned out so I thought I'll just share that one the best one of how yeah. it arrived just playing with different handles and different shapes and different just experimenting with the elements that get kind of came together and I enjoyed carving. Mm -hmm. and have you got a few of those there I do I have quite a few of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had a piece of birch that I um, had to process before I went bad and I just made a whole bunch of them. The bowl is slightly different, just slightly. Um, then the actual template is not as long, but mm -hmm. um, these are, this is kind of how they look. Yeah, it's lovely wood. Yeah, it's really. You can see that you really needed to process it. <laughs> yeah, it would have gotten really spongy if I waited maybe yeah. another yeah. month or a couple of weeks. So, yeah, it's really, really pretty colored. And mm -hmm. there are all sorts of different transitions. Like, um, it's something that I was playing with as well. And I was just, I think it was the first time when I made a lot of spoons at the same time um, of, of the same kind. So you can see here three different transitions um, yeah. with a little bit kind of following the handle movement. The same here. Um, this is the regular straight and this is a different kind of playing with a facet on the back. Shoulders, yeah. And do you have a favorite? I mean, as you're working with those changes are you drawn to one or are they all no equally? not really I not just you know, I often have a general idea of what I'm doing and then when I get to the back um I ax it with the intention of doing it a certain way and then when I play with the with the knife sometimes just a certain slice into the wood and I just keep checking just out of habit and then I look oh that's nice and then I just change direction. Yeah. Uh, but, so that's kind of how it goes. I don't have a favorite. <laughs> so yeah, these are some of the shapes uh, or, or variations of the shape and the handle. The same, you can, you can see that it sort of varies. Sometimes it's more Mm -hmm. curvy sometimes it's curvy and kind of goes a little bit that way at the, at the tail um sometimes it's a little bit wider and all sorts of corrosing ideas um some corros some not this yeah it feels I like corrosing is something that you've started exploring quite recently is just that recently yeah. yeah and i just thought it's something more fun to play with and particularly on a handle that is a little bit wider, like this shape. Mm -hmm. It's fun to add other things if you want to. You don't have to, of course. There's all sorts of ways to celebrate wood. So 
Yeah. Great. Well, thank you very much. Thank and you uh, as, it. it was so yeah. fun to watch all their things. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's the best yeah. thing about putting yeah. a template forward is seeing seeing them seeing them appear. It's like magic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So what we'll do now is we'll come back out to. Oh gosh, I'm a bit slow with this gallery view. Yep. And um, and we're going to do the usual thing about waving hands. But I've just remembered that the last thing that Chuck said to me was, do talk about the next template. So I'm going to briefly do that before we look at everybody's spoons. Um, so we've got a new template um, for the next one, which is from Emmett, and it's an ice cream spoon. Um, and I think he's doing a demo next Saturday, which should be really interesting. And obviously there's the opportunity for questions and answers with that too. Um, and if you can't make it to the demo, but you've got some burning questions, do feel free just to send them on to somebody else and they'll put it forward for you. Um, so that's gonna be next, but now it's number 41. So who would like to show their number 41 first and do the wavy thing? Is that you waving, or, or is it just you waving your mouse? Would anyone? Oh, okay, thank you, Neil. Okay, you unmute and I'll try and pin. Cool. Hello there, can you see my full screen? Yep. yep. Um, yeah, so this is my spoon that, uh, that I've, um, carved using that beautiful graceful uh design there and andrea uh, yeah i really liked what i really liked about this was the nice uh scoop down to the bowl there i think that's a really nice touch yeah to it almost, almost a bit of a dolphin swoop to that I felt. yes yeah yeah i i this piece of wood was a young piece of um olive so it was quite small in fact i had to thin this down there it's a very thin bowl uh precisely because you can see on the bottom there that's the sapwood either side there mm -hmm. uh, so the whole spoon is actually a lot flatter than what you have on the page so next time i'm going to try and use a bit bigger piece of wood <laughs> but <laughs> But it was a good exercise. I just wanted to um, uh, carve, carve pretty much close to the shape just to get the feel of it. Because I was really attracted to this cur these curvy lines. Everything is curves everywhere. And um, it just feels like a lovely spoon. And uh, of course, I did my facets in the bowl. Yes, I like them. Okay. Yeah, do you find that it takes longer than just doing it smooth? I fear that if I tried it, I would actually faff for so much longer just putting in the <laughs> You can faff forever with, <laughs> with, with this. But um, yeah, I get the bowl uh, uh, reasonably um, smooth first, and then I uh, draw the lines and cut, cut the grooves in. So yeah, it's a bit more, more work than you need mm -hmm. to but I just like the fact that the bowl had that point so it was just saying to me facets to the point you know okay. so you just listen to, listen to the wood and the bowl <laughs> <laughs> cool thank you so thank much thank you very much Andrea thank you Neil that's really pretty thank yeah, you Andrea you can feel free to not be muted and you can chip in and chat okay. and ask questions so who's going to wave next Okay, Shahaf, let me try you. All right. Great. Hi. Uh, so this is, can you see this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's pretty wood. That's so quite striking a, wood, that. Wood, that. Yeah, it's a Judas, Judas tree. And uh, I really liked it because this. Uh, I wrote about this a little. It's not a shape that I'm used to do. So it encouraged me to do something uh, new. Um, so thank you for the challenge. I tried also a little 
you came perfect uh, to make the handle and the ball a little detached mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that it can be a nice detail. Next time better. Oh, I and see then that. I did yeah, okay. the corner another the wood. I see that the core, the tip, the tip of the, 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 the back is kind of sitting, it's sitting, it's sitting it's the groove, groove in there. I can see it now. Yeah. yeah. Really cool. Yeah, yeah. thank you the, very much. The, the centralization of your growth rings is amazing. Is amazing. So I just flip. you. <laughs> Actually, there is a branch, like a knot, right in the middle. <laughs> Yeah. But it's not going through, so it's fine. Yeah, very pretty, very pretty. And did you do another one did too? You do another one too? I did. Um, this one is a silky oak. It has a pinkish stripe to it. Try to catch it. Yes, I can see it. Wow. Wow. So this one is a little more gentle mm -hmm. it's lovely yeah 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 you guys have such you amazing have such wood there i can only really try all of it <laughs> that's all i'm gonna do if i come over it's only a few hours away <laughs> <laughs> cool thank you so much for showing those and yeah we try not to be too jealous about the wood you've got <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. okay. Who would like to go next? Thank you, John. Good morning. For me, it's uh, very early, but that's okay. <clears throat> My wife is on uh, a tour and she's in Warsaw. She had just <clears throat> just landed a, uh, a few hours ago, so it's uh, kind of fun to talk to somebody that's in a similar time zone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I um, so let's see here. So I made four of these. I found these for me were very difficult to make this one. I, and so I ended up making four of them. I figured, well, I better try some more. Um, so my progression in, in um, the hardest thing for me was getting the shape of the ball. Every time I carved one, um, I had trouble keeping my original size on the ball as I shaped the outside and then the inside. It just got narrower and narrower. And uh, so this is the third one, and then finally the fourth one, I was pretty happy with the shape <clears throat> and how that uh, turned out. Um, I don't know well how well you can see. I don't know if there's a lot of glare, but the wood uh, uh, is olive wood. And this is the first time I'd ever carved with olive wood. <clears throat> so that was a lot of fun. The um, I ended up doing the, the transition on all of them that's similar. Mm -hmm. I think you called it a dolphin. Well, I the, I think of the dolphin as that that bit of a swoop. Um, oh, okay. There. Yeah, I don't know what we call this this tail on the back. Yeah. So that. That little tail that goes, I tried to do that on all of them and it got a little better as I was doing that. But well, I don't know how well you can see this. I on each one, I'm gonna try. Is oh, yeah, to see. Mm -hmm. And so I, I decided to do uh, to coal rose all of them and but with wildlife from the Monterey Bay. So that yeah, one's a, see some of the yeah the squid very cool yeah so this one's a sea otter and this one i was really proud of because my three-year-old granddaughter was able to identify it as a dolphin over zoom so yep 
I can see it now. And then this one was a shorebird. So hard with Zoom, it just refuses. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's got that. Yeah. I'll try holding that same position. Yeah. Yeah, I think if it just stays still, then Zoom seems to be able to sort out its contrast. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's the other one like that. Oh, that's really cool, John. And this, this one was the jellyfish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's a cool theme to go for. Yeah. Have you got, have you got lots more ideas where you could go with that? How many more? Oh, yeah. I, mean, there's, uh, <laughs> I, could pick, I could pick one area of the globe. <clears throat> So then this has, then I pulled out the uh, template for number eight, which is the one that is based on the shape of your hand. And I thought I'm having so much trouble making these. So I went back and, and uh, did a number eight based on the size of my hand. And with this one, I was finally able to carve the shape of the spoon pretty much the way I wanted it. So. I'm gonna go back and, and, and try again and do did, some more. Andrea. Did you change your method? Did you change the order or was it just? Well, I, I think I, I changed the order. Um, with the others, I was trying to carve the bowl first and then carve the outside. And I remember in one of Andrea's um, mm -hmm videos where she talked about how she one of the early things she does is form the outside of the bowl early on and so i i tried that with this one and uh, i was a little more successful on that so let me try yeah. that so yeah. i'm trying to still trying to figure out what order to do things in yeah it's really critical um you know to, to get it right for you um, because as you say, otherwise you can change the shape of the bowl so quickly just because you haven't got the material left. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I love the the, um, the Monterey Bay uh, references. That, that's just so nice. So thank you. And did you say what woods they were? Was it olive? Oh, did you say? Yeah, these were olive. And so that was that was fun. A neighbor of mine um, was kind of cutting down an olive tree and. Uh, yeah. How was it to carve? Gorgeous. So pretty hard. I've never carved olive. Um, this was a brand new cut. Oh, okay. So it's very green. And uh, so that was. Uh, it's really pretty. It is. It is. Yeah, fresh olive. I would, wouldn't mind yeah, trying Yeah, fresh that. olive. Yeah. Um, I had a neighbor that just cut down, cut down what's called a um, a madras thorn or a um, wamusil, they call it in um, Mexico. And it's a very thorny tree. So I have some of that if anybody um, is interested in trying some of that. I don't have a lot, but um, I got as many big pieces as I could. Anyway. Thank you so much. That was great to see. Okay. Who would like to go next? Okay. Piotr, how do I say your name? Yes, and uh, you may say Piotr. Piotr, great. And, uh, good morning, good afternoon, and I live in Texas, in North Texas. So this is my spoon. It's yeah. carved in black walnut. Oh, I'm not sure the light. I have morning light, so it's just blinding a little bit. And this is the shape. Yeah. And yeah. colorosing, it's based on a petroglyph in Largo Canyon, New Mexico. This is deity of corn harvest oh yeah just bring it there and, and then leave it yes all oh. seeds and uh, basically and renewal on light and on its back 
they are all seeds from the earth and they're supposed that the the some rainbows and eagle fairs and I just love this petrol list. Actually now I want to go and see it since it's like maybe 12 hour drive. So it is close by the standards here. And so first of all, I'm not really carving from templates. I when I carve, I follow the grain, I barely sketch and uh, this is my second template. First was from Worship Vaza from the 17th century mm -hmm. spoon that I love it. And whenever I carve from template, and this is the second time, I was thinking about somebody in 17th century holding the spoon or carving. So when I saw Andrea, your pattern, I just love the flow. And, and I really like organic flow and it was something so beautiful in this. But to be honest, it was challenging for me since I had to follow the template. So I had to step outside my comfort zone and I love the experience. It, it's very different shape than I had and and before I start carving, I just look at your spoons. So again, it was this weird feeling like being you for a while. I, 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 I analyze your spoons and these beautiful flows that you have. It's, it's just gorgeous. And not sure if I said this was carved in black walnut. Yeah. And it was very green. This light is killing me. It, it's like two-thirds light. And I didn't want to go outside because we had a little bit of rain and mosquitoes are killing me. Yeah. You've got the, the, the bowl centralized so very well as well. Yeah, it's and it has beautiful grain. I was lucky to have a piece with this nice grain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so it's been great experience, Andrea. So... Thank you for the template. I think it's quite a compliment to you, Andrea, that, that yours was just the second one that Piotr chose. <laughs> Thank you. That's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Thanks for sharing Thank that. Okay. Who would like to be next? Are you waving, Nancy? Am I on? You're on, and we can okay. hear you. I can't see myself though, so I don't know what I, what other people are seeing. All right. More black walnut. Um. Okay. I don't think you pinned me, but that's all right. Here we I, go. So I did two. I did one in black walnut, and one in rhododendron. Oh, lovely. And. I really can't see because it's you've got it bang in the middle of the screen and the lighting's pretty damn good. Okay. So um I really enjoyed, I mean, I love Andrea's work and I really enjoyed getting to know her a little bit over the last year. We started carving at exactly the same time. So it's been fun. Um I love the the curves in the crank. I love this sweep at the end. And you know, I really enjoyed carving that. I had a little bit more trouble with the bowls, but I think I got them pretty good. They're a little different, each of them. And I carved a lefty and a righty. I did a mirror image because I thought that, that was, and my sister was visiting and she's left-handed and she says, oh, your spoons are right-handed. She's right. I just naturally carve right-handed spoons. But this one, I, I, I even hollowed the, the back of the, the curve of this, handle and just really subtle. And I was thinking about decorating them, but they, um, the grain was so pretty. I and just- So I love the speckle, those speckles in the walnut is so yeah, pretty. It's very um, freckly. Yeah. Very pretty and just a little bit of dark wood. And then this has this beautiful grain on the handle, mm -hmm. which I thought went well with the, um, 
Hey. Hey. So yeah, lots of fun. Uh, enjoyed, really enjoyed it. It's, a, you know, I'm really enjoying playing with handles more and trying to get some nice sweeps and things that feel good in the hand and are fun to hold. So thank Yay. you. Thank and you. I, 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 I missed the live um, talk, but I did listen to the whole thing while I was carving and um, great to see your 52 spoons and having watched that project come alive. And uh, yeah, thanks for all that you do. And you too, Rachel, thank you. Thank you both. So interesting. Yeah, thank you very much, Nancy. Okay, who would like to go now? You do have to wave big because I'm not very good at looking. Are you waving, George, just to say? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. Now we've talked about crap lighting before, but that you've 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 won. Yeah, my camera lighting. my camera is definitely not clean, but the other side is oh. nice. So I have to just turn it around, and you see my messy work workspace at work, and the spoon. <laughs> so I made an Andrea spoon, and <laughs> it was uh, um, a fun project for me because um, <laughs> she she was carving really delicate so i was really trying to make it as thin as possible so <laughs> so i have a color like for you weapon. so it's it's like it's uh, it's pretty much all about a millimeter or something like that so i'm not sure if you're used to the uh, metric scale but <laughs> so the ball is everywhere like one millimeter and it, back in the ball it's getting like two millimeters or something so it's and it's nice and flexible everywhere and even <laughs> on the handle so you could eat some whipped cream with it but not nothing not really much more than that i looked away when you flex the handle can i see it again oh yeah sure yeah <laughs> she feels sick <laughs> well it's it's at least it's three millimeters but i also taper it down because you could go a little bit thinner over here so I try to go as thin as possible over here and go as thin as possible here. Though here is a little bit less flex, but <laughs> so I, yeah, that was my challenge to that spoon to make it just to make the thinnest spoon I I did before. So I'm impressive. Now, so. You can't see through it. It's so thin. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. If I if I put light to it, uh, you probably could. So yeah. Yeah. I can see yeah. where you went. Point zero the, 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 the handle is still too too thick to sorry <laughs> you, that you can't through, look through the handle <laughs> and what, what is it oh, it's just cherry um yeah radial no tangential cherry spoon very and, cool yeah yeah i was just aiming for the as thin as possible <laughs> <laughs> so it's the polar opposite of an ice cream spoon yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my fun of it. Uh, yeah, to just make it thin. And you, uh, beside that, I really like the shape, and I really, I really like these asymmetric things. So I think with asymmetric spoons, you can go wrong really fast. So it's just a matter of a half a millimeter, and you you mess it up, uh, or you just be a half a millimeter right, and you're right. You know, it's it's. Um, I really like also to to get the swoop here and to align this somehow with the bowl um it's a it's it's much more complex than you think it is but i really like that and i really enjoy that and i think that's the real challenge about it to to do that asymmetric handle and asymmetric bowl shape and just let it flow into one line and make it look nice i think there's a general meaning of a nice vision or something like that i don't know the words in english but uh to so sometimes you just do it and it feels right and looks good and you just you know use the same template and you're just a half a millimeter somewhere else and it looks just really horrible so i think the challenge of this spoon was to give that asymmetric style uh, some kind of grace and flowing lines and stuff like that so that's what I really liked about the template. Mm. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you for the template, Andrea. I really yeah. enjoyed it. That's all yeah. your spoons. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for reinterpreting the challenge. <laughs> now you have to ship it and see if it makes it. <laughs> <laughs> we 
story. Challenge, is, challenge accepted. <laughs> I can try that. <laughs> okay, is anyone else going to wave at me? Okay, I got Jeremy first, and then I'll go Michael, except I'll probably forget. Morning, good afternoon, whatever, good evening, wherever, wherever, wherever we're at. Uh, actually, I finished this one last night because I couldn't figure out exactly how I wanted to detail it. Uh, it's in it's in Apple, some Apple that was I've had around. Oh wow! You can't lose the bowl. I love it. And we've lost your sound, but we can see the bowl. Can anyone else hear it, Jeremy, or is it just me? No. I don't think you can hear us either. No. Uh, what do I do? I wave. <laughs> we all can do no sound. No we can't. We can't hear. Oh, I think he understood. <laughs> no. I think what we'll do is we'll go to Michael and I'll send a message to Jeremy saying that we'll come back to him once he sorted his sound. So here we go, Michael. All right. Um, well, Andrea, thanks so much for the template. Um, just uh, I'll throw a funny note out there, but um, so my grandfather was actually uh, born and raised in Transylvania. Um, oh, he, he, yeah, he left. He left when he was fairly young, emigrated to the U.S., um, but, uh, and then, it, it, you know, obviously I'm sort of interested. Um, I actually studied for a year in Budapest, and it was the, it was the year Chernobyl blew up, um, but, uh, you know, pretty natural, you know, I was like, oh, I should go visit Transylvania, because my grandfather's from there, and every time I brought that up, all the Hungarians were like, don't do that, that's a really bad idea, you really don't want to do that, so... I never quite made it. I was very close, but never made it there. So someday, someday I hope to make it back there. But anyways, um, yeah, no, I really, um, I mean, this this template, I mean, if people know my spoons, they'd probably figure out that um, it's going to fit my style. Um, the, the curving, curving things I like, the asymmetrical bowl I like. Um, so this is, um, I got a pretty interesting chunk of uh, figured plum. Uh, the figure doesn't show too much. Um, it will see in the, the second one, it does have some other interesting features, but um, I really had a lot of fun, you know, I mean, it just fits with my natural style to do the, the curve and the handle, the bowl, you know, it's, it's, it is an odd shaped bowl for me, you know, um, the eaters I do, most of the eaters I do are um, Jeff's number 26, um, so what, this is a pretty big departure from that. Um, I did sort of get the point. Um, this one, you know, I just, I lost a little bit. The sapwood, the sapwood in this plum really misbehaves. It's really actually very much softer than the hardwood or than the heartwood. So that was kind of annoying. I think, you know, I would have liked to have managed to keep a little bit more width on the, the sapwood side, um, but, you know, so, go, so goes it. Um, and then when it was drying, I got a little bit of a, little natural crook there's a knot here in the handle um so it gave it a little extra crook um but yeah i you know i don't think my handle is quite as wide as you know what you did in the template but um i do you know i do like the way it fits in the bowl but anyways see if we get a close-up on the you know you mm -hmm. can it's hard to probably hard to see with that light but you know some really nice reflex um in it both on the inside and the outside um but anyways that's the first one i did so here's the second one. Um, let's see if we get a really close up. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So this this is really interesting. It's got it's got bird's eye in it. Um, you know, I I have no no idea why this particular piece ended up with bird's eye. Never seen bird's eye in plum before, but um, you know, this one I was like, oh yeah, let me work on this one. Uh, try to get that highlighted in the bowl. Got some on the handle as well. Um, and a lot less sapwood in this one, but there you can see some just crazy reflex. Um, this one, you know, the first one I did, you know, I did leave the bowl proud. Um, the second one, it's sort of more my natural, you know, more what I do typically, you know, in the transition, um, you know, from the bowl into the neck. Um, 
but uh, you know, but this one, it, you know, I just you know was playing around with it, um, wanted to try do a couple of different things, um, but the the bird sign this is just crazy. So, um, <laughs> and then I did one more. Unfortunately, this one's it's not finished. Um, you know, it's it just you know it needs the sanding and everything. But you know, it it was smooth at one point, and then when I, you know, I, I only did these last weekend. You know, I did them up at the spoon camp out we did um, and then brought them home and just left them out to dry. And this sapwood, it just it's all it's all Lovely. wavy now. Yeah. So um, that'll get cleaned up, you know, when I do the sanding. But um, I was just like, I think this one really and it's got a funny bird's eye right in the middle of the bowl. So um, and, you know, I like this one. It's got, you know, really two tone right there through the bowl. Uh, but the handles handles all sapwood but you know again thanks for the template had had a lot of fun with it um and really enjoyed your presentation last week or whatever two weeks ago so thanks for that thanks michael thanks so much michael that 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 wood was quite awesome as you say bird's eye and plum yeah 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 crazy yeah. i'll post i'll post i'll do a post later this morning but yeah good thank you okay jeremy we're going to try again can you hear us you can hear us, but we can't hear you. And try unmuting. Let's see. Uh, yep. Can you hear me now? We we yep. can hear you. Okay. Thanks. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna try right. pinning you again. Okay. There we go. All right. Now I can't see myself. That's fine. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. So uh, yeah, like uh, everybody else is saying, this is a really lovely design, uh, and Andrea's work is always amazing. Um, uh, I really like the asymmet asymmetrical nature of the of the handle. Uh, as a left-handed person, uh, I thought I was carving this as a as a lefty spoon, and then uh, as my wife was holding it yesterday, she's like, "No, it's definitely a right-handed sp person spoon. It's uh, so comfortable this way." <laughs> so, but to me, this feels just right in my left hand, um, uh, which I really enjoy. Um, I really like the the kind of the leaf uh, is how I see this as the the shape of a leaf and like a tree a branch coming up to it in uh, the, the seg uh, the separation between those two elements there um, uh, and it just has a really nice shape uh, I hope I've captured it well um, but uh, uh, and then I cold rose to small I'm just getting started with cold rosing and a cold rose a small bean. Uh, I, my thought was I was going to try to do some sort of inspirational words along here, but I haven't got to that yet because I don't have enough confidence in myself yet. So, <laughs> or exactly with my layout. So I'll figure that out and <laughs> maybe it's, maybe it's finished. Maybe it's not finished. We'll see. I think, I think if you colorose the inside of a bowl, you can do anything. Yeah. That's what <laughs> yeah. It's more the layout. Just, you know, you know, sometimes you just not quite. <laughs> it was actually surprisingly, I've, I've been watching R Riv Chica Warriors stuff. Uh, lately and seeing that she's got had some really helpful tips, I think, uh, and it's been been helpful. Um, so that's yeah. uh, my spoon. It's in it's in apple wood. Uh, it's this bit of apple that I've been working for a while is very curly. So a lot of times I've had to um, uh, sand things, but uh, I was able to get everything off the knife uh, as best as I could uh, this time. And it wasn't crazy curly, but uh, it's also a darker bit than the other the much mm -hmm. of the other. So it. who's going to keep it? Is it going to be yours or your wife's? Yeah, I'm guessing she will like it. She will probably take it, but uh, I don't know. There's a pile of spoons is what happens. It, it <laughs> seems like <laughs> that you can never quite give away, but also can never quite keep. <laughs> or you're never quite sure <laughs> how many you need, I guess. So I assume everybody else is in a similar boat. <laughs> so, so when you say you thought you did it left-handed, did you flip the template and do it upside down? No, I don't believe so. No, I just thought it was, it fit so nicely in the curve of my hand and it rests nicely in the shape. Oh, the way I see. I yeah. So uh, I, I just thought. If, like I can, uh, if I can come in. Yeah, I did this uh, shape opposite to the drawing, but putting it in your, both your hands, the handle is left handed, kind of, and your spoon bowl has a tip. <laughs> that side so yeah it can be either side really i think yeah yeah i would agree with that for sure so <laughs> yeah it's a it's a lovely spoon i i probably do a few more of this shape or, or some something very close because i really like the, the it also seems like it's uh thinner than a lot of the spoons i've made in the past 
and I, I, I like that. I was, I was, I wasn't sure how the like kind of the mouth feel in the the bowl area would be, and it's it's really good. Um, so, anyway, I really like it. I'll pass it on to somebody else. Awesome. Great. Thank Thanks for persevering with us too. <laughs> okay. So, is anybody waving now? Yep, Oren's not waving. <laughs> Hello, not Oren. Unmute yourself. So, sorry, the rooster made a cute face. I had to go and give him a kiss. <laughs> our turn yes yes okay hi um i had a few attempts at uh an andrea's spoon i haven't seen it with a smell and this is the best <laughs> <laughs> well it's on instagram you can check it out um this one is from a local uh species of of pine there are some pines that are really nice to carve that grow out here that are very dense it's very, uh, we don't have much water, so the, even the pines are, are hard. Um, I, just, I will, the same as everybody, I just, I just love Andrea's whole journey. And it's amazing that we've all kind of got to experience it all here and, you know, follow it from the beginning. I feel like it's, <laughs> like it's my journey just as much. I've just been, you know, going along with it and just Thinking loving every it, moment of it. Actually, that I that we just kind of that we've just been here from the beginning. I was thinking about that. That's been really sweet. It's, it's just Sorry, been, go ahead. I'm it's just been there. great. It's just amazing. And um, uh, I I I love how slowly it's become like a certain language, and I can suddenly identify an Andrea spoon there. So. And I'm lucky enough to have one of her spoons. And uh, well, all, all week or the past couple of weeks in Spoon Club, I keep pulling it out and showing everybody to, you know, uh, almost everybody in Spoon Club. I don't know why they're not all here other than Shachar, but. Uh, and me. Oh, and okay. um, <laughs> <laughs> showing off their spoons, but everybody's been doing this spoon design here. It's been really great. They'll show it off to you when you come over finally. So the color roasting, thing, of course, is something a little whimsical because to me, um, Andrea is a little bit of a, a forest fairy and it's got all kinds of little uh, animals. And, uh, oh my God, this is so, wow, this is so cool. <laughs> um, I, I, I made a, an, another one because I always do the challenges also out of um, La Quat, which is my favorite wood. So I did another one yesterday and uh this one has the snail climbing climbing on top on on a little branch <laughs> that's so pretty already wow thank you and thank you for 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 everything and just being such a wonderful person now i learned yeah. top that so so for everybody else who don't make as nice as spoon as oren <laughs> I will be the brave one who will show his spoon after. Owen, this is mine. I don't like the points on in the middle of this, the bowl, so I made another kind of bowl. I like it. And this is my the back of my spoon, and yeah, the curves are crazy, and really <laughs> like them. And it's a Judas tree, so a red something. Uh, red bud. Red bud. Red bud yeah. yeah, lovely. Yes. Down there in the so corner. this is uh, David uh, in a uh, tribute to our spoon club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's such a lovely word that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you both. Is anyone else waving? Thank you, it's Paul. The best part okay. to see everybody's food. Thank you so much. <laughs> yep, yeah, I've got you on. I can't hear you though. You need to unmute. Yep. There we go. Brilliant. Yep. So, I mean, 
as Rachel knows, I've only been carving since sort of like midway through May. So this was an interesting one. I love the shape of it. Thank you, Andrea. It's a beautiful shape. I absolutely love it. And I managed to do a couple. And the first one I actually did left-handed because I put have the template upside down. Because <laughs> I, normally I, might, I write the number on, on this one I didn't. <laughs> uh, quickly went out, I thought, oh, I, I, need to get, I need to get this one done. I need to get this one axed. Quickly drew it out, axed it out. It's only when I came back in and uh, somebody else had said, I appear to have done a left-handed one. I goes, oh, so do I. <laughs> so this is out of maple. And it's a bit thicker, but that's nothing unusual. As Rachel knows, I I I don't do thing very well, but it's it's thinner than that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's thin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For, for me, this is getting a little bit thinner, and it's first time I've used this wood, but I mean the keel. I wasn't sure of the keel, so I was the one which Rachel asked the question for about the keel because <laughs> I didn't have a clue. Uh, but you know, we've got an interesting thing. It's it's almost like a whale. I've got almost like a whale's tail on the back of this one. Yeah. And yes. I cold rosed it, but I only started cold rosing an hour before the start of this show. <laughs> so you see me frantically burnishing, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> so that's so that's that one. So, so that was the first one, uh, and I just went for a basic design because literally, I've been coal rosing even less time than I've been carving. Did you enjoy doing um, it? Sorry. Did you enjoy yeah. doing the coal rosing? Oh, I really liked it, and uh, Rivchit Warrior put up a little She's done tutorial. Some great yeah. Uh, yeah. Sort of like, and I saw it like this morning, and it was just sort of like. Oh, last night and I thought ah and I just used that technique and it worked so I'm a pusher good that's fine pushing you know, the way to go. Yeah, I worked out that I'm a pusher because <laughs> you know and I put a little, my little moniker on the back so that's that one now the next one um, was I did initially notice that oh I appear to have a puffin in the bowl <laughs> <laughs> I was tempted to actually call Rose a little. Put some paint there, on. But it's not. <laughs> well, I turned around and I thought, hang on a minute, it's two birds in one spoon. <laughs> it's got two eyes and a beak. So this one is a bit more Voyager. Yeah. <laughs> it's, got, it's, it's got a heck of a hump. Uh, and now uh, I have to uh, now say that I got a bit carried away with the power cuts and all of a sudden I blasted off one side of the rounded bit. So I just evened it up. <laughs> <I'm happy too. laughs> and another just simple design because I'm just learning. And uh, I'd, I'd previously done the powder, uh, just dry powder without oil before, because I've seen other people do that. Um, I spoke to Sean from Sir Woodcraft and he sort of says, oh, I put a little bit of oil in. I put a little bit of oil in and then added to the cinnamon and it's gone in so much better. Good, good. So yeah. that seems to work for me. But as I say, uh, this one's also got a little bit of a wild thing going on <laughs> there. But as well, there was a bit, there was a bit of sort of like sap, sapwood on the top. So... It was slightly off thing because I wasn't going to lose that. I liked the two tone. I thought I'm keeping that as much as I can. I'm keeping that, so it goes all over the place as this one. <laughs> but no, it was it was a great challenge. Absolutely loved it, um, and you know I'm gradually getting better. Unfortunately, I've not been able to follow your journey, Andrea. From sort of like you'd finished it by the time I actually started carving. I think. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been fantastic to look at all your spoons. It was fantastic to re-watch uh, the, was it two hours? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I initially started watching it and thought, no, I need to actually do something else now. Right, I'll come back. And, start, and I just went back to the beginning and just watched a whole lot when I had more time. And it was absolutely <laughs> fabulous. So thank you very much.
Thank Coming you. Coming out. Doing this well to see really, really, really good spoons. I love yeah. amazing adventure. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Paul. Anybody else like to show theirs? Are we done? Oh, Galen. <laughs> there we are. Hi, am I oh. pinned? You are pinned. Oh. Um, so I have had a very busy few weeks this past month feels like it flew away so I had good intentions of carving many of these spoons, um, but I only have one and I did split three billets into fractions so I was going to have multiples and it just didn't work out. So this billet ended up having a couple of um, little cracks, so I made it a little bit more squished versus the curvier profile, but I tried to get as many curves out of my squished little bowl and spoon. And so it was a good exercise in seeing like from a very thin billet, what can you get in terms of flow? Mm -hmm. And so it was really a nice exercise in how can I still get some of the gracefulness of the design within what is um, a very flat, shallow spoon compared to kind of the deeper deeper ones and then still trying to get like really nice facets. Um, there was also a knot that ended up in kind of a beautiful position, um, but doesn't seem like it's going to change the spoon or fracture it. And this one's just out of a piece of pin cherry. So it's got some beautiful ray flex, finished really nicely. I did not get the George thinness, but it is pretty for me decently. <laughs> Um, and it's just a lovely spoon. I really enjoyed this and I can see why so many people are coal rosing it. The width of the handle up here um, and the entire shape just is, is enough to decorate. Um, for this one, I'm leaving it simple, um, but thank you. It, as everyone's echoed, it's been just a joy seeing kind of your creative spoon voice come forward and seeing your forms come um, to fruition. And I'm really excited to see what you do next. So thank you for the template. It was lovely to carve. I'll likely be carving more of these and I'm very lucky also to have one of her spoons. So I'll, I'll get to look at that um, in Spoon Envy as well as I enjoy eating with it. <laughs> Thanks, Kaylin, that's a lovely spoon. Yeah, yeah really well, that wood is so pretty. I don't think I've ever heard of pin cherry. That's yeah, it's a it's one of our versions of a wild cherry. Um, so the grain's not as bold as black cherry, um, but it's pretty close to the carvability. So it's it's um, a nice carvable cherry, but the the grain is more subtle, more subdued. Um, yeah, so it's one of our wild wild cherry species out in Washington. Yeah, and I love how you managed to get such a beautiful flower and it's yeah. so thin it's very pretty thank you okay is there anybody else no well you can see mine if you wanted i did yeah. two can i pin myself um the first one was pear and actually just before um so starting, I have been taking more off the handle because it just, um, it could still be thinner. Because it's got such a big keel and I'm not used to having a keel, it just feels as though there's so much wood there that I could get rid of. Um, but yeah, I love the, the, the flow of it. Um, and I couldn't decide what to call Rose, so it's waiting for me to be inspired. I think it'll be fun to do that. I love the pear, it's so pale and lovely. Yeah, and it's such a lovely canvas for coal rosing because there's nothing to distract. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to, to think of something there and it's got quite a point back. And then the second one I did was uh, cherry. Um, and again, I'm tempted to take, take more off, but I can't take it off this side now because I've done a little um, scallops down it. So I'll have to take it off the other. I love um, the yeah. yeah. I quite liked quite like them. Um, so yeah, so those are mine. But I really did enjoy the the template. So thanks so much, Andrea. It was it was a real joy.
Um, I always think it's funny um, when the template is so organic, it, it feels like it's a contradiction because I guess you don't do it to a template, you just draw the lines um, and then go where the flow is. And then we sort of snapshot that and feel constrained by the template. And it, it, there's, there's tension there, I think. Um, so it, it always makes me smile a bit. Um, it's like when we did Dan, Dan Lawrence's template. I was like, this is just it's alien <laughs> because you know, it's the opposite of what he does. And I had that sort of feeling with this too. Was that, that you know we were we were following something that should never have been a template, uh, but it was just the joy to do. So yeah, but it is uh, it is really good to be constrained sometimes. I think just to learn something new. You know, like I I really like this uh, curve coming up from the spoon bowl like that, and I don't do that very often. You know, normally I just go up mm -hmm. type of thing. Totally different sort of behavior with a handle so it's really nice to try something be constrained by by the uh drawing and try it you know yeah i agree i agree just as i say it just feels sometimes a bit mm. <laughs> a bit clunky <laughs> okay so um if everyone who would like to show has shown then we get to look at Instagram. I'm frowning because this is this is slightly beyond my <laughs> technical expertise. Let me see if I can work out how to do it. Obviously, I just say share screen, don't I? Yes, and then you search for the tag. Okay. Or you search for the tag and say share screen for sure. You sure? One person can share at a time. Is that me? I've never shared a screen before. <laughs> How hard can it be, Rachel? Oh, gotcha. Okay, it's not hard at all. Right, let's see. Can you see that? Yes. Okay. Yep. One thing that I realized on for some reason on my Instagram on this PC is that I can't see recent, I can only see top. Is that normal, do you think, for a PC? I don't know. Um, let's, let's go to the bottom and see where we are. So can I make you bigger or not? How is that readable for you or seeable for you? Okay. Okay, so we don't need to look at that one. That's just the template. Um, what? That's not a uh, 41. And so this is John's. In mm -hmm. Scotland, now work in progress, and I, I know he's got later pictures of those. Oh, um, these ones. Yeah. Can I make that any bigger? Is that? No. No. Unless... Okay. It's okay. I'll hopefully they get bigger. No, they didn't. And we've seen Paul's. Yeah, that that's got quite a side profile, Paul, hasn't it? Yeah, I think some of these were work in progress. Yeah. Yeah, but that's it's so nice to have that record for yourself as well as for us. And so these are John's that he's chipped. Yeah. Maybe double click on the picture, may enlarge it. Oh, I've just liked it. And twice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether I'm the right person to be doing this job. Um, I can't make it bigger. Can I get rid of the text? Would that help? Yeah. I don't think you can. No, I don't think I can. Go Rachel, ahead. yeah. Rachel, maximize your viewing of the um, on your on your own screen, <clears throat> so that um, you're seeing as big as possible. Okay. Yeah. And we'll go back to where we were. Is that better? It's bigger, yeah. Yeah, okay. that's definitely bigger. I'm on the Thank phone, you. I can say it's bigger. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you for the very calm instructions there. So we've got chip carving. 
RT leaf shots. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah nice chip tabbing. Is John the one that's that's very much still opposed to coal rosing? I think it might be. <laughs> can't, can't quite remember. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like he's really gone organic with that. You know, especially the one on the left. He's mm -hmm. followed some grainy lines. And here we are with a lot. Is this in progress or was this finished a lot? It says it's in progress. Oh, it does. You're right. See, incapable of reading now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, lovely. It is lovely. That's very pretty wood. Yeah. Yeah, and that knot bang in the center. Yeah. Yeah, you could do some sort of coal rosing, say, I'm looking at you or something. It looks like an a big smile at the bottom. And <laughs> smile, that's right. Yeah, it's really striking. And then that pattern of grain on the handle has come out really nicely too. Yeah. Yeah. It's a gift really that would do this tree. Yeah. It sometimes it feels like it's a little more orange, but it's not really. I guess are, you, gets... are you going to Israel, Andrea? Yeah. Yeah. Have you got like a bucket list, wish list of which woods you're going to go for in which order? Have you got oh, yeah. <laughs> like trail. a shopping list? <laughs> I'll start stocking up for you. I'll just be in the corner trying every wood that there is over there. <laughs> Where's Andrea? Oh, she's just over there. <laughs> Don't speak to her. <laughs> cool. Okay. And then that. Uh, I totally can recommend to do that. Go, go in a corner. No, go to Israel. <laughs> yeah. Did you bring wood back? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I have a lot of plum, I, I did that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I brought some plum to Israel as well. Very good. Oh, I'm glad we can see the coal rosing on these ones from John a bit better with the with the lighting. Did we ever decide what the female version of master is? Maybe it's just master. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's governor in this house anyway. <laughs> Yeah, it was a lovely. I love how they're all in motion. Yes, that bird particularly had had movement in him. Yeah. Oh, and we're going to be able to see this a bit better too, because that the lighting for that one, Piotr, was was hard. We're going to zoom in. Yes. Oh, oh and get the information. So it's the big horn sheep deity. So cool. There's so many interesting inspirations out there, aren't there? That's a lovely one. Uh, oh, there's a couple of 41s to be in there. Mm -hmm. Master Do we know this handle? I don't know that I think. Okay. Yeah. That was a cool. Oh, was that? Yeah, oh, you did it on the back too. Back as well. Oh, no, back just on the back of one. That is quite weird, isn't it? Like, it plays with your head when you see the, the bottom of the spoon with the color or something. Yeah. Yeah, I think that it's it. Um, oh, one on the front and one on the back. Yeah. One on the front, one on the back, yeah. Yeah. Hey, we have never thought to do the back. But... No. <laughs> that, that's just great. And a fish. Yeah, I think it's a, a koi fish. Yeah. Yeah, lovely. And Wilson. Mm 
Yeah, that's quite striking wood too. Oh. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, that's the, can't see whether it's written on top, top and bottom, as we all should. <laughs> Make sure we get it the right way up. Oh wow, yeah. Yeah. He said he didn't really know what it was, but it's just, <laughs> it's just awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. I keep looking at it to try and find out what I think it might be. What do you see in it? I, I see a stack of off cuts. I see. <laughs> oh, that's so much. Or, or, or a, a carrot on a slice of orange. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Or mushrooms. I don't know. I love it, but it's just so... Yeah. Do you think he's rubbed some pigment in it to darken it all? It looks like it has green in it as well. Mm -hmm. I don't know, probably, yeah. No. Really effective. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty, too. That is pretty, yeah. Did anybody try reversing the orientation of the bowl with the handle? So the, the handle curving one direction, but then the bowl being reversed. No. You can easily do that. Yeah. Yeah. Because for someone, if I was, uh, Jeremy was saying that this, it feels mm -hmm. better with his left hand to have it the other way around, or or that the that the uh, the orientation away from the hand feels better for for the left hand. So I guess if you put the ball the other way around, it would really be a good left hand swing. Yeah, I think that you just adjust to to use whatever spoon it is. Do you know what I mean? It's it's yeah. really interesting that you. You tend to just change your style. Your eating style. All right, we've got we've got oh, a trainer. Okay. <laughs> we've all seen this before. <laughs> oh, I get it. You just change it to make it look like you planned it. Yeah, <laughs> that's oh. right. <laughs> before it goes too far. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be good, good for getting your eggs out of the bowl. <laughs> and these are John's. <clears throat> yeah. And the drone is quite striking. But the elders are darker there. Yeah. I like the little finial on one too. Oh, yeah. I haven't thought about a finial on, on the spoon shape. Those are really cool. Yeah. yeah, it's begging for a totally asymmetric finial, isn't it? Yeah. Somewhere random. Yeah. <laughs> they look like they're flying, <laughs> coming in formation to land. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you see the finial better against that. Yep. Now I saw Bonnie on the gallery, but uh, it's nice to see her spoons. Yeah. <laughs> they almost look tulip-like in their shape. Yes. Yeah, because I had thought leaf as well, but they, they there is a tulipness to them, isn't there? Yeah, it's a very natural, organic shape. Mm -hmm. She's got. I love that. Oh, wow, with the spine going right up to the tip. Mm -hmm. That makes it feel even more organic. Yeah.
Um, Dominic, who thinks he's got a wonky bowl. Let's see if we can identify the wonky bowl. I don't think it's wonky at all. No. Very pretty. Is that okay? Something about the grain on that handle makes it look even more swoopy than it is. That's amazing. Yeah, that grain's stunning. Yeah. Yeah, trying to see it. Apple. Mm. Yeah, really swoopy. Facets. Woo. <laughs> nice. Oh, and this. Yeah. It is true, is it? Yeah, that's such a striking wood. It's hard doing such a sweepy design when you've got those yes. real <laughs> parallel lines. Uh, that's amazing. Yeah. And marla has got one, one finished, one still ongoing. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I found it interesting to decide which path the handle was going to follow into the bowl. It, you know, it felt like there was there was scope for changing things around there. Sorry, I'm not going to listen. Oh, when we get a proper picture of those pretty grains. Yeah. And the way it sort of fades, you've got this mm -hmm. fading into the, the, the heartwood. And those waves in the two, what was it, rhododendron? So cool. Rhododendron, yeah. Yeah, here. That's yeah, yeah that's awesome. Yeah, lovely. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's quite a striking grain as well. I think it's oh, put in the drawing. It's yeah. Drawing. Yeah, it's almost cherry like that. Mm -hmm. Lovely, and a sort of lip leaf. <laughs> Looks like some sort of. <laughs> cool. And Jody, that just looks awesome, especially against the white. Yeah, and she said that she'd left that tear out and incorporated it into the coral rosin, which is lovely. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, I didn't even notice that. It's oh, yeah, no, I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like really effective. Okay, yeah. Central spine. Oh, and inspiration. Mm -hmm. I'm using that one. That was what the other one looked like before I carved it. <laughs> I love to see them side by side. So but sort of the blank and the. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah me too. Oh yes, pretty good one works. Bitter cherry, okay. You've got so many different types of cherry. Yeah, I know bitter cherry. Is that sour cherry? <laughs> <I don't know. 
<laughs> ornamental cherry onion. Yeah. Because we do have sour cherries, but not bitter ones. No. No, I like I like the contrast of the, the light and the dark there. That's that's crazy. And okay, yeah, with a bit is that coal rosing there? Yeah, it says there you are. Yeah. All oh, right, so she is that it? I don't know. Is it the same spoon? No, two different spoons. One with there you are that way around, and one coming around. Yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah. I think that's us. Cool. Okay. There's one more challenge. Oh, no, it's okay. I've worked it out. It says stop share. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's been really interesting. As ever, it's just a joy to see everyone's different uh, interpretation of a, of a template, of a 2D template. Uh, just just brilliant. So once more, Andrea, thank you very, very, very much. Um, and thanks for the talk about your project. And, and as Oren says, thanks for taking us along on your journey, because that's been one of the joys too. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for everyone who gave it a trial. It's such a, such a treat to watch and I appreciate you. Yeah. Okay, I shall stop recording and then we can relax. I shall just stop recording if I can work out how to do it. Yep. Yep.